Flavor family, what is up? It is Bobby and Art back in the kitchen. I've got a keto salmon patty recipe I know you're gonna love. I made these on the Flav City Instagram the other week. They loved it. And I said, you know what? This should not only go on the blog, but I have to do a YouTube video for it. And I said, you know what? This could be the start, the start of the new video per week. We're gonna do four videos per week now. A cooking video, a live stream cooking video, and two on the weekend. Are you as excited as I am? High five, right? So this is gonna be good. So today Today we're gonna to make juicy wild salmon patty cakes with my take on a tartar sauce that's a little funky monkey and dairy free if you wanna do it. Before we get into the recipe, I'm super excited because a longtime supporter of the channel is sponsoring this video, Thrive Market. Thrive Market is the best because think about all the stuff you would normally get at Whole Foods, your favorite organic, natural, non-GMO products. You get them on Thrive Market for up to 30% cheaper than the grocery store. Don't even leave the house, right? The box comes to your door and it has everything you love as you've seen over the years of them sponsoring my content. Go on the website, you guys. I like to shop by diets. My favorite fields to search by are keto and paleo, but there's over 70 different fields you can choose from there. Gluten-free, sugar-free, certain diets like AIP. Once you go in there, there's a ton of options I know you're gonna love, and do not forget to navigate over to the deals page. The deals page is where it's at because anytime you spend over a certain amount, free swag. And down below there is the Thrive Cash. Sometimes you spend money, you get extra Thrive Cash, which you can apply towards the order. It's just as good as money, you guys. So listen, try it out. They gave me a promo code like they always do. It is down in the description box. It's for an extra 25% off your first order, free shipping, and a 30-day free trial. Listen, if you don't like it, you cancel. But I know you're going to love it. And big thank you to them for sponsoring the video. So let's get rocking here. I have two pounds of wild wild coho salmon that I cut off the skin. And this is my first time getting wild salmon from Thrive Market and it looks really good. And I'm gonna talk more about that in a minute. Now, this is super easy because I'm gonna blend it up in the food processor. But before I do, what really makes this recipe keto is I'm swapping out breadcrumbs with almond flour. So let's scoop about half a heaping cup of almond flour into my bowl here. And I thought to myself when I was doing this, self, how can I make this dairy free for my friends out there who don't rock the dairy? Very, very easily. Normally, if I was doing keto, I would soak this in cream. Instead, this is unsweetened, plain, organic almond milk. I'm gonna pour that over. And check this out, Art. I'm gonna pour just enough to make it wet and mushy and let it soak for five minutes. And that's how we have our keto and or dairy free breadcrumbs that'll lighten up the texture of these salmon cakes perfectly. And then I'll grab my processor. This is why I think people on Instagram love the recipe so much. It's easy. Blitzy, blitzy. Cook in the pan over there. Done. So I'm going to put two pounds of salmon in the bowl here. Then I'll crack in one egg. That'll help bind it together. Then I'll scoop in about a half a cup of avocado oil mayonnaise. That'll be our secondary binder. Shake in a couple teaspoons of tamari soy sauce. That'll give it that kind of umami flavor. Pinch in about three quarters of a teaspoon of unrefined sea salt, a few cracks of black pepper, and then I'll grab some spices and we have a few more things to go here. But one of the cool things about Thrive Market now is they have fresh meat and seafood. All of the seafood is either farm raised responsibly, it's all sustainably caught, and they have a lot of wild caught salmon like this, phenomenal. So I'm gonna add a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon and a half of stone ground mustard. Check that out. I love this stuff because you can see the yellow and the brown mustard seeds in there. And it just has a great flavor and a little bit of crunch. I'm gonna take some caper berries, about a heaping teaspoon, plus some of that pickling juice. That's gonna add some nice flavor. Then I'll add the zest of one small lemon. Then, see how this thickened up a little bit here? The almond flour hydrated from the almond milk. Keep it in the almond family. That's what I wanna do. We'll add that. And you need this because the texture of wild salmon is a little meaty, a little dense, and this will lighten it up. It's kind of like putting breadcrumbs in a meatball. Instead of being hard and dense, it's light and airy. And then parsley. Before I add the parsley, if you're not doing my parsley hack yet, you gotta do it. Come back from the grocery store, wash it up. Snip just a little bit of the ends off, put it in cold water in a mason jar, and then the bag that you got it here, just put it right back over the top, Stored in the fridge, you guys, two weeks. Yes, your herbs will last you two weeks. It works best with cilantro and parsley. 
Do the parsley a favor, change the water every three or four days, but it's a great hack that saves you serious cash. And then whenever you need it, right, just rip off some parsley, give it a fine chop here, and then add it to the food processor. Let the machine do its work for you, pop the lid on and buzz it away. All right, take a look inside. That's kind of the texture I want. It's not 100% smooth. There's still some chunky monkey here. Perfect. I don't want to fry these yet in the pan because they're a little loose. So I'm going to pop the top off, put some plastic wrap over the top, and chill them in the fridge for like 15 to 20 minutes. All right, let's get our ingredients for my take on a tartar sauce, which is going to be an option for dairy-free because I think you can do it and no one would even know the difference. So it starts with half mayonnaise and half yogurt. I'm gonna use the same mayonnaise from before, about a half a cup of avocado oil mayonnaise. This is where it gets interesting. There's two dairy-free yogurts that I really love at the grocery store. One is from Kite Hill. The other one is from Forager. Kite Hill is almond. Forager is cashew. They're delicious. The ingredients are Bobby approved. And I love swapping it out in sauces like this because I'm telling you, the drop-off is minimal to none and nobody gonna tell the difference. Let's scoop in a half a cup of this and then the zest of about half a lemon and start with the juice of half. A little bit of prepared horseradish. If you have fresh stuff, go for it. But I love the spice this adds and this brand is really nice. Bubbies and then about a teaspoon and a half of dill relish that's sugar-free. A little bit of salt and pepper should go in here. And then for the herbs, I'm gonna open up a pack of chives here. Finally slice them, just keep your fingers back. These are great because they have a really nice mild onion flavor. And then add them to your bowl. All right, you have to check for seasoning. I want this to be on the tart side to cut through the richness of the salmon patties. Wow, that is good. All right, push that aside. I'm gonna grab these salmon patties. I'm gonna fry them up. All right, friends, let's fry up some salmon patties. I got my chilled mixture there. I've got a large nonstick pan here. Let's preheat it over medium-ish heat. And for my fat of choice, I'm gonna use avocado oil. And then I'm gonna form some patties here. So let me de-bling. Just grab some of the mixture here. Form it into like a really large golf ball. And then put it in the pan like that. And then carefully just smash it out into a thin patty. Uh, that was a chunky one Art was talking about. Look at that. Art's like, isn't that chunk a little too big? I'm like, Art, I said chunky monkey. I'm standing by my words. Let those patties do their thing for about four or five minutes. Splatter guard is essential here, prevents the oil from going everywhere. And we will flip that in about four or five minutes. Let's flip these salmon cakes. Oh, perfect, you guys. Look at that color. Oh no, epic fail on that one. That one's mine. Yeah, that one's for Art. Gorgeous. Oh my God, Art. You got really close there. Hey, we're a little rusty, you guys. We haven't done cooking videos in a couple of months. But that's the beauty of the hot pan. That crust there not only adds flavor, it adds texture. Now, let Art go ice down his finger and we'll let those go another two to three minutes max. Let's evacuate the salmon patties. Let's fry up the second batch. Once again, just push them down. And by the way, if you're using farm-raised fish for this, number one, make sure it's good quality farm-raised. And number two, you have to cut back on the amount of eggs and mayonnaise because farm-raised Atlantic salmon is very fatty and it almost binds itself but I will leave that detail in the recipe down below. That'll live on flavcity.com. All right, wash the hands, splatter guard back down, five more minutes. Let's flip the second batch. Perfect. This time I'm gonna be more careful. Amazing color on there. All right, two more minutes and we're done. All right, let's get these last patties out of the pan and we'll plate up a dish. Some of the tartar sauce down and doing that restaurant swoosh. And then grabbing three of our perfectly cooked salmon cakes right here. And then a little bit of chives on top. And then if I have a partially zested lemon, I don't stop until it's fully zest. And there it is, you guys. Keto juicy salmon cakes with a dairy-free tartar sauce. So darn easy. So darn beautiful. Art, here's your weapon of choice. Thank you, good sir. Extra sauce for me. Cheers. Crush dip. 
nice and acidic on the sauce. Right. Go with that fish, man. I like it. Wow, those very uh, very deep thoughts from Art. Normally, it's like very good, like Johnny P. Deep thoughts. You guys. Yeah, candy. First of all, the crust, that brown crust on the salmon, love it. Then we get that juicy interior, right? Tons of flavor, perfectly cooked. But this right here, that dairy-free tartar sauce, so much darn flavor. Look at Desi going in for the dynamic close-up there. Art, you got some competition. You better be careful. Did I do that? Fantastic recipe. Down in the description box is a link to the recipe on flavestudio.com, the macros, storage, all that good stuff. Thrive Market promo code in the description box. You guys, check it out. Free 30-day trial. Free shipping. Extra 25% off your first order. I love it. You're going to love it too. Art and I and Desi have three more videos going below us right now, but we will see you very soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace.